although New Orleans, back in the days when jazz was born, was the city of revivalist dreams, we were about to awake with a shock to its living musical reality. In 1949, a band was formed by a London train cleaner, Ken Collier. It was called the Crane River Jazz Band, a harmless enough name, but it was to split the revivalist jazz world. Ken called his music traditional jazz. The war was on. Ken believed that the basis of revivalism, the jazz recordings made during the 20s by musicians who'd quit New Orleans, was a decadent development. He maintained that true jazz had never left the Crescent City. His idol was Bunk Johnson, an old and obscure New Orleans trumpet player, long retired, who was rediscovered in the late 30s. And then, until his death in 1949, Bunk became a living legend. Ken believed this to be the true jazz. There was no other. When I first cottoned on to Bunk, I admit, I slavishly tried to copy him. But Bunk was a wonderful teacher, which I realized. It wasn't just to try and copy them, and it really is a waste of time just being a carbon, becoming a carbon copy of anybody. Following Bunk's example, Collier formed a strictly traditional New Orleans band as he conceived it. And I had to drill it into them men. They weren't uh, avid about the music like I was at the time, but I coerced them and influenced them. <laughs> I don't know today whether it was ever to their regret, but uh, it was my personality and driving force that made the band what it was. You were a tremendous influence. Many musicians who'd been happily playing revivalist jazz moved over to playing traditional jazz. Yes, but it's a, an unfortunate thing, in a way, that the, the jazz world became so partisan. I mean, it wasn't a good thing at all, but that's the way it happens. You had your avid people that believed only Louis Armstrong's Hot Five and Hot Seven, that was the only way to play, and so Jelly Roll Morton, that was the only way to play. And then the, there was all this conflict within the jazz scene, which I, was a shame because conflict like that wastes a lot of energy and a lot of time that could be put to better use. Yeah. Although you were in part responsible for that. Conflict. Yes. <laughs>